about the, the big leagues later. Well, every Thursday we bring you updates on how ultra runner Harvey Lewis is doing as he tries to run the Appalachian Trail. So nine in your sides, Palacero gives us an update and uh, also on his support team, Pala, here in the Tri-State. Well, that's correct, uh, Catherine. You know something, if you remember last week, he was at 17%. And uh, just a week later, seven days later, he's at 32.3% of the trail. And I'm pretty sure he's running right now because uh, this updates every 10 uh, minutes. And you can see him going along this map, which is pretty cool. Uh, but you know something earlier this week, he did have a foot injury. He had pain in his foot, which caused him to run a little fewer miles than usual earlier this week. But uh, he still continues to push. And it's all thanks to the support of not only the tri-state, but all around the nation. Take a look. Lewis is doing is no walk in the park. I almost stepped on the rattlesnake. <laughs> Taking on the Appalachian Trail, so his most loyal followers wanted to run with him in spirit. If he can run the whole Appalachian Trail and 30,000 feet in the last few days or something, surely we can, you know, climb 300 feet up to Mount Adams. So that's what we're going to do today. Marie O'Reilly is one of hundreds here in the Tri-State running every single day to support Harvey. Yeah. I've been running since he started the Appalachian Trails. I have a coach and he has me run six days a week anyhow. So it was easy to just walk for a mile on the day that I had off. Once he sees these videos and he gets our messages, he will feed off that energy. But his influence goes beyond the tri-state. Some streaking from Florida, another in Kansas, Michigan, Wisconsin, Virginia. My running friends are my family and it just makes me feel good. Last week, all of them together ran more than 5,000 miles. That's the distance from Cincinnati to Moscow, Russia. Because what Harvey is doing... I think he just like inspires people to just kind of get up and move. Up and down the hills of Mount Adams and around Eden Park, they all ran with Harvey in mind. Harvey's inspiring a lot of people around town. He's out there doing what he loves, doing something that's next to impossible. So uh, we all want him to know that he's not alone. Harvey, <laughs> you're crazy, but you already knew that. And um, just keep doing what you're doing and... Don't let the voices in your head have you stop. Just keep going. Now, as I mentioned, the group ran from Cincinnati to Moscow collectively. Now they're trying, they're tracking on Harvey's Facebook page to see if they can circumnavigate the world with wow. collective miles. You can keep up on there or on my Facebook page or on WCPO.com. He's doing really well. <laughs> if is. you consider all, you know, third of the way done. It's incredible. And we appreciate the updates every Thursday. Pallet, thank you. All right, still ahead at 630.